Bruce, come on up here. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. This is one of our graduates. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Okay. What is your skills? For most of my adult life, I've worked on helping people find living wage jobs. I've worked on helping people who are in recovery from addiction uh, turn their lives around. And what we found so often in the organization Better People that I started was that once an addict comes up for air, they finally are at the point where they want to change, where they're looking for some redemption. That the irresponsible lifestyle that they've had in the underground for years and years, not showing up for court dates, driving without insurance, uh, perhaps violating an exclusion zone ordinance, all those things add up. And so when the person finally wants to get clean, they're often looking at four or $5,000 worth of fines. And you've all heard the, the, uh, the term, you can't get blood out of a turnip. And to ask somebody who uh, was going to go into a minimum wage job to pay off five or $10,000 worth of fines just isn't practical. So uh, Roy Jay and um, uh, the African American Chamber put together Project Clean Slate to give people a chance to uh, pay, the, pay a price that will be in the best interest of society, but also in the best interest of them uh, turning their lives around and getting back on track. So I wanted to thank the Public Safety Subcommittee of Ways and Means, the co-chairs, uh, Representative Nolan and Representative Schrader, also the Judiciary Committee in the House and Senate, uh, Senator Burdick on the Senate side, and uh, Representative McPherson on the House side. Which he played a, a critical role in getting that passed. And Senator Carter for bird-dogging this on the Senate side and making sure it got through. Uh, what I'd also like to do is to bring up uh, Mr. Jay to say a few words about. I think you do that, but I need you to do it uh, hurriedly because the governor has another signing yes. that he want to do, and we need to, to get out. <laughs> Whatever. I want to hear what Roy says. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear you. Ted, me and you get along yeah. bad, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Margaret, just slow your roll for me. <laughs> you know, uh, this is the labor of love. This is our first time down here, and I want to start with, you know, I feel like I'm at the Academy Awards. Chip and, and, I, and Gary Oxley and, and Joe Nunn and Harold and everybody else, this, this sends a statement, not just locally, but it sends a statement across the country that Oregon cares about our citizens thing, and the thousands of people that are waiting to get into this program. Finally, they can get, a, get, a, get their license, get back to work, and be productive citizens. And all these people and a whole lot more people that you don't see are doing this on a day-to-day -day basis. This gives us some, some funding for us to be able to get stabilized and be able to go, go from outside of Multnomah County, hopefully. We'll be back next session and probably beg for some more. But we want you to come down there and help, help us out as well. So thank you to everybody that has made this history today. So. Organization in I don't know how many years have, where a new program came through and got money from the legislature. This says a lot wow. about this Absolutely. governor and about this legislature. It, does. it, it does. has not been done. So, so Chip Shields, Chip, Bird, Chip, Chip, Chip yeah, 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 that's right. Gary, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One thing you should know while you're signing, and that is many people thought that Roy was just talking about people who live in North Northeast Portland. Yeah. However, you should know there are people from Lake Oswego, Beaverton, and other areas who don't look like me or Roy who are beneficiaries of this program. Oh, yeah. so, I, I, like, so many times people think that you're coming for black people. 80% okay? of them are, don't look like us. You That's know, exactly so. right. So this is truly a labor of love for Oregonians who will get their lives straight and back on track. So, Governor, thank you very, very Oops. much. Oops. I got it. Did I drop it? I did. No. Okay. I'm going to give this to Teresa. Teresa. Governor. Roy, this, will you do me a favor? Is, you got Bruce, a photographer This here. is we Bruce Melvin. Talking. Bruce just Bruce, went through the program. Bruce, and we brought Ted, it down on purpose. Bruce. Thank you very much. And I want to make sure that, that Bruce gets a, gets a pen. pen. You can distribute Bruce, that. Bruce, this is for you. Thank you. Okay. All right, now, I need this. Okay, need you need you, that? I need you to, because I have to send okay, it to the Secretary okay, of State. Okay, you want me to stand here? Yeah, I want you to Okay, I normally charge for these, but for you. Don't worry. I'm going to sell it. There we go. We get a charge of admission for this uh, one. Yeah, gonna, <laughs> you're going to see this all okay. over. Why is it? We get all, all the five shots, you know? Because me and Ted get along, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. okay. Ted, okay. is, is okay. that enough for you now? That's it. Okay, no, I just want to make sure. Okay. <laughs> let's leave while, he's, while the medication is still working, okay? <laughs> I want to thank all of you guys for coming this morning. And the governor does need at least a three to five minute break before okay. he um, comes thank back you. for the next thank signing. You. Governor, so thank, thank you. you. Thank you.